Hi everyone, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. Thank you very much for watching our channel. Miss Bonnie is away today, sick with the flu. Get better soon, Miss Bonnie. So I'm on my own, and I'm not actually doing a craft this week. I'm just going to talk about a category of picture books I'm particularly fond of, which would be picture books that don't have any words in them. Hippo Beach by Pierre Pratt is an oldie but a goodie. Bit of a library fail there with the barcode, but what are you going to do? They have to go somewhere. And this is a charming little book with a single picture, single image on each page. And this is one of only two sentences in the whole book. Today is Sunday. And you get to see this hippopotamus waking up. And all these fantastic things happen to transform this hippopotamus as the day carries on. And children will enjoy this book very much indeed. David Wisner the writer and artist of several of books of this variety. I'm particularly fond of Flotsam because it's, and it's like for slightly older children. It's absolutely stunning. The imagery is beautiful. The concept is a very clever one. And he plays with perspective in a way that I think children really can enjoy. Kids are pretty sophisticated in what they notice and enjoy about art. And this is rather more complicated, as you can see. There's lots of panels on each page, and kids are going to have to track along and keep track of what's happening in the story. They'll enjoy it very much indeed. Chalk by Bill Thompson, another fine book, and we've already done a whole video about this another time, so I'm not going to go into detail except to suggest to you that it is a very fine book in this category. As children get older, you might want to still share this kind of book with them. And we have a couple. This one is Sticks and Stones by Peter Cooper. And it's a rather dark tale about, uh, about war and hatred and greed and where that leads us all. It's a complicated story, not one probably to share with small children, but any kid from about the age 10, up, 10 and up is going to enjoy this story. And once again, zero words. So they're going to have to track their way through this. And you would use books that don't have any words with kids for lots of reasons. Younger kids still need to learn basic skills about traveling through a book, left to right, how to turn a page, how to hold a book, uh, predicting things, getting a lot of information out of the stories. And let's face it, these pictures are all symbols. Words are all symbols. So it's a sort of a pre-reading skill and something they enjoy very much. This is Sean Tan, The Arrival. If you haven't read it yet yourself, run out immediately and get an interlibrary loan and read this book because it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. This is a very complicated story, very complex, and it is truly it's, it's such a deep story, very profound, full of all sorts of wonder and many truths about human beings and the way we live our lives. The fact that he's able to do it entirely without written language is quite astonishing. And children are going to get a kick out of books of this sort all the time because they can read it to you. That's what we get from the grade one kids all the time. They ask for their book without words because then they can sit and read it to you. And language skills, the spoken word is just as important as any other kind of language skill. So, hallelujah for the books that have no words, and I hope you enjoyed this and that you will find some books to share with the kids in your life. Bye-bye now.